there, this is David and today I want to show you the creation of my new album called Echos of Hopeful Melancholy. Let's go. This is the lower room in my house. I have a studio in the center of the town and uh, for this record I use only this simple microphone, it's a KGC 214 guitar cable, and once I used uh, a whammy pedal, and uh, that's it. I just went to through. I went through my old uh, simple uh, interface and uh, Logic Pro. You can see there are two tracks, microphone and the cable is just one take and I use some reverbs from Adaptive Verb and Lexicon and here is the main guitar Sigma I think it's cheap guitar and uh, that's it I was inspired to create this album by a scene from the movie Vicky Cristina Barcelona there was a, a scene when the, when the painter asked a, a, a girl if she likes guitar and, and, uh, and she said yes. So in the evening they went to the little pub and there was a guitar player and surrounded by 15 or 10 people and he played on the guitar. You know, and I was like, oh man, what what should I do in the situation like this? Because I have, you know, I need looper, I need my special bows, I need Ebo, I need very good PA system with subwoofer, you know, and Ableton Live and uh, Guitar X6 and bunch of samplers. And I was like, oh man, if Javier Bardem is there and Penelope Cruz, for example, what can I play for them? You know, I don't have a repertoire. So I was like, man, I have to go to Barcelona and take the atmosphere, you know, inhale the atmosphere from, from, from this town. So I, I, I flew there uh, with my wife and uh, I was searching a flamenco guitar player and I found one. He was uh, close to the Fountain, Magic Fountain. And I was sitting there, he was old dude, uh, no shoes, you know, and he looked exactly like the guitar player on Picasso painting. And I was listening to him and he made a lot of, let's say, mistakes, like he was out of rhythm or, or he used uh, aleatory, you know, he reminded me some kind of African musician who repeat a lot of one groove or, or, or musical moments and they, they go ahead and repeat it and you can hear some rhythmical mistakes, they are not in grid, they are not in the same BPM, you know, and I love this. I love abstract art, I love painters, you know, and I was like, what if I will do something like that? But I can't play flamenco and classical music on guitar. These guys can play melody and harmony in the same time. I can't do that. I can play chords and then I can play solos. So what could I play if I am sitting there with amplifier and uh, a reverb? And uh, then I was thinking a lot and then I I made a strategy that I can be different. So I used contrabasso strings on my acoustic guitar when I went home. And uh, I, I decided that every morning I will wake up and I will record spontane composition on the guitar with this strange low sound, which is almost like bass. It's not a baritone, but it's like a bass.
and uh, I have recorded 13 really spontaneous improvisations and uh, sometimes I'm screaming on the record you can hear it, you can hear my voice from the mic <laughs> part of my life you know I have 44 releases on Bandcamp and this one is just acoustic guitar and me and it's not flamenco it's not classical music you know when I played in Austria in Belvedere gallery the the director introduced me to the audience like this is David Collar and his music style I call it soundtrack art okay maybe it's this you know and uh i did it you know in two days there are four 13 pieces and uh you can listen it from the first of september and you can support me because i cannot print the cds because you know nobody wants cd and the vinyl is too expensive and uh, you can support me, you can buy the digital version from my Bandcamp or I leave their PayPal me link where you can just send a few coins if you want that I can make more records for you. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.